Hey guys, welcome back for another video. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Kevin. I am the owner of Muddy River Tactical. So today we have the SIG P365 X Macro. So when the X Macro first came out, it was comp version, which was the same length, but it was only a 3.1 inch barrel. And then the rest of the slide was a compensator, which I was a super fan of that pistol. It shot great performed awesome is just overall a great pistol so now we have the x macro 3.7 inch barrel without the comp on it so we're going to take it to the range and see how this performs All right guys, this X Macro has a 3.7 inch barrel like we talked about and a full rail under it. A lot of the features on this gun are the exact same as the X Macro, but we'll go over them real quick in case you haven't seen that video. So this X Macro is cut for an optic, so you can put whatever optic of your choice on there. Has a traditional SIG X-ray green night sights, which I'm a super fan of. They're just overall a great, great sight. No need to change them. If you're gonna put an optic on it, a lot of these new optics even co-witness with regular stock sights. So they're a super good option for sure. It has the same grip on it, so you get a full, full purchase on the gun. It's just got a great feeling to it. SIG did a great job on the texturing on it and the undercut here and the where your finger rides right there just feels really, really good. The trigger on it is the flat face trigger and it's got just a little take up but a good wall and a great break and then take the mag out and then the reset it's quick and then right back to that wall the trigger in this gun for a stock trigger is one of my favorite triggers outside of the mechanics are just as good or better but as a stock trigger this trigger is amazing i love the flat feel of it it's just overall great so I was a huge fan of the X Macro with the comp on it. However, I did find it to be a little louder because of the comp. So it never really bothered me. I, you know, at the range I always use hearing protection, so it wasn't a huge deal, but it was definitely louder. And the one thing I didn't like about the comp was with the comp on there, you still have this larger footprint the same footprint as this gun right here. So in my personal opinion, I would rather have the extra barrel length. Uh, just gives you a little better velocity and better accuracy and a few different things like that. I would much rather have that over the compensator in a concealed carry package personally, but that's just me. So the controls on it are not ambidextrous, but they work very well. The mag release is swappable. It comes with two 17 round magazines just like the X Macro Comp did. They do make a, I think it's called a Tac Ops version of this as well, which comes with four magazines and has a flared mag well and a couple, few little differences on it. But it's quite a bit more money. And for me, I don't have any need in a concealed carry pistol. The extra mags would be nice, but in a concealed carry pistol, I don't have any need for the flared mag well, just because I think it causes some printing issues and a few comfort issues and I just don't think it's really worth it in the concealed carry market. So we took this thing to the range and shot it and like I said with the comp, with the comp version of this I was blown away by it. It shot super smooth, recoils very manageable and a lot of that they say was due to the comp so I was really uh, intrigued to see how this thing would shoot and to my pleasant surprise it shot every bit as good as that did. Uh, so the having the extra barrel length kind of made up for the comp. So they shoot really similar and I really couldn't tell the difference between them. So in my mind, like I said, I like this a lot better. You know, if I'm a concealed carry and have a 3.7 inch slide, whether it's, you know, all barrel or 3.1 inch barrel and then the half inch for the comp, either way, I got the same footprint. So me personally, I'd much rather have the barrel. It's got the same rail under it as that, X comp has so you can put any lights or lasers of your choice it's right at an inch wide so this is a very concealable gun and it's one of my favorite concealed carry guns really because it's an all-around gun but it does very good at both of them you know a lot of these guns when it's a 
just a concealed carry gun it gives up a little bit of shootability or when it's a full-size gun you gain shootability but then the concealability is not there so it's kind of all a give and take but on this x macro it really does a good job of putting all those features together and giving you an all-around gun you know i think these are right around 679 669 somewhere in that range and in my opinion for that price it's really a bargain so if you've got one of the comp the comp versions I, I don't know if it's really worth switching to one of these however if you're new to the sig 365 or just have a regular 365 a short one and are looking for a little bigger one i would definitely go with the regular x macro instead of the comp like i said you just get a little more barrel which which i like get a little more velocity a little more accuracy just those things overall as far as reliability i've shot about 400 rounds through this not a problem at all the x macro comp that i have i've got oh shoot probably 3,000 rounds through at this point without an issue in the world so reliability definitely isn't an issue with these so if you're in the market for one definitely check out the x comp and also if you want more of a uh, just a range pistol or you like the flared mag wells and things like that they have the tac ops version which could be a good deal for somebody like that but for the price this x macro is definitely hard to beat so leave your comments below i'm curious to see what you guys think of this see if it's worse if this you think this is better than the comp or what your guys' thoughts on it are so leave those comments below and i'll be glad to answer your questions and like to hear what you guys think so thank you guys for watching. Until next time, keep practicing and always be prepared.